more often than not, well test data is not available when trying to create a current deliverability curve, or the well test is so old we can only use it as a guide. In these cases, we can still estimate a deliverability based on current production data and a reasonable estimate of reservoir pressure. As can be seen in the equation, there are five terms. If we know four of those terms, we can determine the fifth. Therefore, if we have production data, then we have a current gas rate and pressure combination. Furthermore, it should be known what the approximate reservoir pressure is for the well. Finally, if we assume it an end value, then we can calculate C. With a calculated C, we can then determine the AOF by setting the flowing well pressure to zero. In most cases, it is safest to assume an end value of 1 because it will provide the most conservative results. However, you may have reason to believe that your end value is lower, for example from an analog well. By using the production data method, there are three options. Using sand phase pressure and rate, using flowing wellhead pressure and rate, and using non-flowing wellhead pressure, liquid level and rate. All three use the same logic, but differ in the way that flowing well pressure is entered. The first method is to enter sand phase flowing pressure directly. Here's the data that we'll enter. In Harmony, use the drop-down and change to use sand phase flowing pressure. Then enter the data. Once the data is entered, the AOF curve is drawn and can be used for nodal analysis. Method 2B is to use wellhead flowing pressure. With this method, we need to have a wellbore in order to calculate pressure at the sand face. Here's the data we're going to enter. And here's the wellbore information. Again, use the drop-down and select Use Wellhead Flowing Pressure. Enter the data as required. Since this method requires a wellbore, it will automatically turn on the Calculate Wellhead AOF option seen here and here. The final method is to use the non-flowing pressure. Also called the quiet side pressure, this is the pressure measured on the non-flowing side. For example, if you are flowing the well up the tubing and measuring pressure on the casing side, then the casing wellhead pressure would be considered the quiet side pressure. With this method, we also need a liquid level and a liquid gradient. Again, use the drop-down to navigate to wellhead quiet non-flowing pressure and enter in the data. Like the previous method, this method also requires a wellbore and so it turns on the calculate wellhead AOF option automatically.